Hello everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of recurrence relations. I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, I shall be dealing with solving of inhomogeneous recurrence relations, which I had described in my video lecture number 10 of the series. Okay, so let us see how to solve an inhomogeneous recurrence relation. Let us take up the question. So, first of all, consider the question recurrence relation a n equals to 2 a n minus 1 plus 1 with a 1 equals to 1 okay this is the initial condition a 1 equals to 1 okay now this is inhomogeneous recurrence relation given in front of us okay and you can see that the function f of n is equals to 1 this is the function f of n okay now how to solve it the first step over here will be we will have to solve the homogeneous recurrence relation a n equals to 2 a n minus 1. Now we have already seen in the previous video lectures of the series how to solve the homogeneous recurrence relation in detail. So according to that put a n equal to alpha to the power n as a solution of the homogeneous recurrence relation on solving that we obtain alpha to the power n equal to 2 times alpha to the power n minus 1. Now alpha to the power n minus 1 being the smallest power you divide it on both the sides you get alpha equals to 2. Thus you have obtained the required solution for the homogeneous recurrence relation over here which is a1 equals to 2 to the power n. Now we remember that in my previous video lecture of the procedure of the inhomogeneous recurrence relation I had given the notation a n to the power bracketed h for the solution of the homogeneous recurrence relation. We shall keep this solution as it is. Okay. So right now I will call it by number 1. Okay. So this is the solution of the ho homogeneous recurrence relation for this question. Now we go for the particular solution of the given recurrence relation. How do we go about it? Observe here that function f of n is constant. Now if you remember in step 2 I had given you a table in that observe the table and over there I had mentioned when the function is constant you put a n equal to b to find a n to the power p which is your particular solution. In short, what is going to be your particular solution? This B that you see is your particular solution. Okay, over here that you can observe. You will come to know very soon. Okay, so put a n equal to B. Now what will happen to a n minus 1 in that case? We will have to put a n minus 1 also B. Okay, it will be B over there. So, it will be b equal to 2b plus 1. When you solve this equation, you get b minus 2b equals to 1, which is further minus b equals to 1, so therefore b equal to minus 1. Therefore, the particular solution is a n to the power p, bracketed p, which is equal to minus 1. Observe here one thing very carefully that you had substituted for a n equal to b. So wherever the recurrence relation function a n you see you have to put that terms as whatever substitution you are giving. Over here a n is equals to b. So, a n minus 1 is also a function over here. So, that is also going to go as b because all those terms which are function of n, they are supposed to be replaced by whatever substitution you call for. Okay. So, over here a n is a function of n, you will have to put it as b. a n minus 1 is a function of n, you will have to put it as b. Okay, so thus you finally find your particular solution which is a n 
to the power p bracketed p which is equal to minus 1 okay now what is the value as i had told you this b is going to be your particular solution that b is minus 1 that is your particular solution that is what i have written down here okay now let us go further so step 3 is to find the solution a n for the inhomogeneous recurrence relation so the general solution that i had given you is a n is equal to the homogeneous rec uh, recurrence relation solution plus the particular solution that is nothing but a1 times 2 to the power n minus 1 you substitute those solutions as per the formula so we have obtained our general solution that is a n equals to capital a1 times 2 to the power n minus 1 now we will have to find the explicit solution because we had been given the initial condition for explicit solution we will have to use the general solution and the initial condition so as per the initial condition put n equals to 1 you get a1 over here okay this is small a1 and this n will be 1 so you will have a1 times 2 minus 1 that is what I have written here and further when you solve this by putting a1 value as 1 from the initial condition you get capital A1 is 1 so the explicit solution for the recurrence relation is a n is equals to 2 to the power n minus 1 okay please go through the entire procedure especially the place where you substituted for the particular solution okay uh, so go through the entire solution of the problem and uh, for you I leave these two questions for your practice you can practice question number one which is of the similar nature that I have just taken over here but uh, question number two is slightly non-trivial you will have to focus a little bit on what I had said during step two regarding the substitution of for the particular solution okay then you can get what it, you have to do with this n okay so you can practice these two problems and you can revert me back if you have any difficulties related to this on the method or any other I shall get back to you with your difficulties and the solutions of the same and uh, so till then Keep practicing good amount of mathematics. Thank you.